thank you so much, guys. That was just phenomenal. Uh, I just want to say I have some very good news to share with you this morning. From next week, say with me, next week, next week, the 20th of September, for the first time in going on six months, we will be meeting in person here at our venue. Let's just celebrate that fact. Amen. Come on. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I know there's been some people have asked um, over the last couple of weeks, hey, when are we going back to Grace Life? When are we going back to back to our venue? And uh, um, you know, online's been wonderful, and we love we've loved being online uh, with everybody. Uh, but the question has come up, and of course, as you all know, uh, we did say a few weeks ago that we had a meeting with the school. We weren't allowed back in our venue by virtue. Uh, of the Department of Education, we've been forbidden essentially to come back here. Yeah, all the churches that are meeting in schools around the country, and because we were meeting kind of a little bit away from the school and all that kind of stuff, we've spoken to the school, and they're very happy for us to come back here now, um, level two, and uh, and hopefully next week we'll see level one. Uh, and in saying that, so we are coming back in person right here at our venue. So. Of course, the, the, the easiest part is saying we're coming back. The hardest part is, of course, the protocols. Uh, and in saying that, um, we know that uh, President Ramaphosa is going to be uh, speaking next week. Uh, we think on, I think on Wednesday or Tuesday or Wednesday. And, and hopefully we'll come back to level one. We'll come down to level one. Uh, and, and then even to 50% of the venue and not 50 people or less, but maybe 50%. So that obviously that changes the dynamics for us and the protocols. But essentially, on Sunday next week, we have spoken, I have spoken to uh, various guys, um, not only in this city, but other cities, how people actually do church uh, in their venues uh, regarding the bookings, online bookings, etc., etc. And, uh, and so, you know, we don't want to be pragmatic and just do what everybody else is doing. You know, what, what can work for Grace Life and what is the best for us? Amen. That's why we thank you for all the grace you've extended us, that you continue to extend to us, and that you keep praying for us. Amen. And uh, so, chatted a few guys. We've spoken as a leadership, uh, as, as a Grace Life leadership. Uh, and so what we've decided to do is that we are not going to be doing the bookings from next week or next week's meeting. We're not going to do the booking. So, you know, we're going to have an online booking system and guys fill in there and, you know, and kind of you have a booking system. Once the seats are full, the seats are full. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we are going to do this, a first come, first serve. First come. So in other words, if you arrive early, you get a seat inside one of the 50. Hopefully it might be one of the 100. Let's see, because if it's, we can have 50% full here at, at, uh, at Grace Life, you know, we can, we can, we can seat at least uh, 215, 220 people in here. Uh, maybe 230, 240 at a squeeze, but 215 comfortably. So we'd have 100, 100 people in the hall. Uh, so what we want to say for, if it's not, and it's only 50, first come, first serve. If you arrive early enough, you get a seat inside. Uh, uh, of course, we'll have them all spaced out, uh, uh, the, the, the chairs. If you come after the first 50 are taken inside, then you will go into what's called our overflow area, which will be out in our courtyard. Of course, there's a massive tree there. We've got palm trees. We'll set up all our, uh, our six-seater tables, uh, social distance. We'll put some chairs out there. And what will happen is the overflow guys will go into, into the courtyard. We've had a couple of people actually express to us that they'd prefer to sit outside, actually. But... That will be our overflow area. Okay, and uh, there's no rain forecast for next week from what we can see. Uh, if there is, we'll have to move our overflow area to the undercover parking, uh, undercover area that side. So that'll be our overflow. The first 50 people that come, or the first 50, 50 people that come will sit inside. Thereafter, we'll use what's called our overflow area, and that'll be on the outside in the courtyard. Amen? So we are still holding to protocol no more than 50 under one area. We won't be gathering 100 together, friends, as Grace Life. So all the 50 will go outside when the meeting finishes. We won't be doing that. Okay, so we will keep the 50s apart. As a leadership, we'll be very vigilant. As a matter of fact, speaking about vigilance, we are going to um, make sure that we, that we hold to all the protocols, taking the temperatures, writing down names, uh, 
uh, um, having a, a filing system or a name system. We run down your names, we ask a question or two. Have you been in contact with anyone with COVID-19? Do you feel sick in any way, shape or form? Or is anything happening with you? Amen. And, uh, and we'll tick you off and let you come inside either here or into the overflow area. And uh, um, you know, we'll take temperatures, we will um, have hand sanitizers, we'll keep to social distancing. So we'll, we'll look after all the protocols. Of course, we just ask you to come with a mask, amen? To, to hold to the protocols of, of course, keep everybody safe and to what government has stipulated. All right, so I hope that's clear. Essentially, we're not gonna do a booking system. We're gonna try it out. So like we ask you, please just bear with us. You know, I've spoken to one or two friends of mine and you know, they do the booking. So you know, we're, just, we're gonna try it out. Amen. We want to we want to see what fits for us as a church. Amen. And we're gonna we are gonna try it out. So if we see after two weeks actually it's not working, we might go to the booking system. But just just bear with us. Amen. We need a lot of grace and a lot of patience. Amen. As we slowly ramp back ramp back up into uh, normalities, where we want to go, we want to we want to go back to where we were. Amen. And um, and hopefully sooner rather than later. So please just bear with us. At the end of the day, uh, that's how we're going to do it. We, we are feeling to do it that way. We are going to have 50 inside and the overflow area. Anyone that comes after those 50 will sit in the overflow area outside. Amen? And of course, some people might just want to sit outside anyway. We're going to have uh, uh, the, 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 the music or the preach uh, popped outside. So you'll have full sound of everything that's happening. And uh, um, so it's going to be, we're going to have a great time. Amen? We are really, really looking forward to it. Uh, I just want to say once again, please just, just bear with us. Don't, uh, please don't get frustrated and irritated and all those other things. I mean, just, just, just have grace as we navigate our way forward as a leadership. Uh, um, of course, as I said, we won't be doing things maybe that some other guys are doing or however it pans out. But just please just bear with us. Amen. As far as kids ministry is concerned, there's been talk of maybe taking the kids straight up to the to the kids ministry class and um, just have them all social distance, just like at school, masks and hand sanitizers and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so we're just walking that through, thinking that through. We'll let you know closer to the time. Amen. But of course, bring your kids with you. <laughs> Don't leave them at home. Amen. Um, unless they're old enough and they want to stay at home. So, and again, if you're not feeling well, uh, if you are, if you are older and you're feeling actually, I don't, I don't want to be in that environment. Uh, um, you know, then it's fine. Obviously, you do whatever you feel you need to have to do in order to be safe. Uh, that's that's the point of of what we're doing here. Uh, we we don't want you to be forced to do anything. You, if you're feeling, as a matter of fact, we are going to continue to uh, um, we're going to continue to go live. Every Sunday from here on and now, this is what we're going to be doing. We will be going live. So when we start the meeting, the meeting will be live. We have a camera at the back there at the, at the desk and, the, and it'll, it'll, you will be able to watch the worship. You'll be able to watch the preach. If you're feeling like you want to stay at home for whatever reason, amen, then of course you're welcome to do that. Join us online, live on a Sunday morning, nine o'clock, amen. And what we are going to do, uh, one final point is we're going to we'll go with one, one meeting. I know we had, we had decided to do two meetings, remember, at the, at just before lockdown, because of our virtue of numbers, we're going to go into two meetings. Uh, but of course, COVID-19 has come, we don't know how all that's going to pan out, so we don't want to just jump into two meetings. We are going to do one meeting from 9 to 10, we're going to try and keep it quite short, 9 to 10, one hour, and of course give us a minute, five or so minutes afterwards if we do go over that, but we want to try and keep it to an hour. Uh, just for a whole lot of reasons, of course, for the kids, etc., etc., uh, um, nine to ten, and we'll see how it goes. Amen. If we realise actually we're getting more people and more people want to come, then we might stretch it to two meetings and push it out and have another one start at ten thirty, etc., etc. Amen. But we'll have, as I said, all the protocols in place. We will be cleaning everything. Everything will be clean before you arrive. Sanitise before you arrive. All the tables sanitised. All the chairs sanitised. All the countertops sanitised. Everything sanitised. Everybody wearing masks. Amen. And um, so you'll be safe according to protocol. How's that sound to you? Amen. So as I said, of course, saying we're coming back to our venue uh, uh, for an in-person meeting is easy. The hardest part is the practicability or the practicals of that. And that's why we ask you to just bear with us and be patient as we formulate it and work things out as a team. Amen. And um, so, as I said, we will be doing everything we can to keep you safe. Everything we can to to keep within the confines and the prescript prescripts of government and uh, as, as, a, as a leadership and as a church. 
Amen. But we're gonna have 50 inside for the first 50 that come into the into the into the meeting. They will get to sit inside, and of course the overflow area outside, all nicely spaced out. There'll be uh, um, there's lots of shade outside, and you'll be able to hear. The, the music, amen, and the preaching from outside. And then of course, we're gonna ask you when the meeting ends, we're not all gonna to mingle together, all if there's if there's 100 people, we're not all gonna to mingle together, amen? We're still gonna keep the 50s and 50s and ask perhaps maybe a, 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 a station of tea and coffee outside and that you just grab your tea and coffee if you want some, if not, of course, you, you're welcome to leave straight away. And then the other 50 guys, we will just make sure that, that we always have essentially just 50 in any one area. Amen. And um, keeping, as I said, within the confines and the protocols and stipulations of government. Amen. Without breaking any laws. So I trust that is helpful. So the 20th of September, 20th of September, our first, very first in-person meeting. Amen. Bless you guys. We'll see you soon.